In this module, we are going to export our spaceship interior without the character. So to find it again, the scene that you downloaded free from DAS3D, usually it's over here in the ready to render section. So just click on that and you'll find the scene right here. If for some reason it's not there, there's another place you can find it. Click on the content library tab. Let me collapse this here and then go over to products and over here if you click on this little arrow you'll find that um, everything is listed here in alphabetical order. So if we go down to the S, click the S because it's called Sci-Fi Warrior Bundle, you'll see it right over here and all of the assets are here as well. So back over to the smart content window, let's just grab the scene click on it with our left mouse button hold it down and drag it and release and Daz will load up this scene for us you could also double click on the icon and it will do the same thing okay so here is our scene complete with cameras character lights and the only thing we want to keep is the level 19 object which is the full um, interior, sci-fi interior. I'm calling it a spaceship interior. So click on the Genesis 2 female character, select her, and then click the delete button so she's gone. And then we want to select the rim light, control click, the backlight, the fill light, backlight, spotlight, fill light, spotlight. Delete all those. And we don't need this camera either. We don't want to bring any of this over into our FBX file. We just want a clean level. So we can see here that it's got an elevator shaft that's, that's hidden. Um, basically, this is what we want to have for our export. So now we go up here to File. Drop down to Export. And... <clears throat> we'll just use this this area here and let's just name this spaceship interior and this is going to give us our FBX options so we want to go ahead and just pretty much leave everything on its default the 2012 binary seems to work well um, and then down here, it's going to tell us that yes, it's going to export the level 19, gives us the polygon count, the vertices count, and so on. If you want to collect all the, um, the textures to a folder, just select this box here, and then DAS will collect all the textures into its own folder. Otherwise, the textures will come across in the FBX file. Click OK, and now we've got the level 19 exported to FBX and ready to be imported into Unreal Engine 4. Now this is important to know how to do because Unreal Engine Marketplace, although it has quite a few uh, structures and environments, it really doesn't have um, a huge selection. So when you learn to um, export environments or buildings from DAS Studio, it's going to open up a whole new world literally of um, buildings and interiors and exteriors and things like that for you to be able to use so over here i just wanted to kind of quickly show you uh, some of the structures that are available and it just goes on and on the type of buildings sci-fi country um, you know uh, old time buildings pretty much anything you can think of somebody's created in daz and the items are are available for sale um, a lot of them are on sale at discounted prices. So you can just kind of go through here and do a search and find out what you're looking for and um, purchase the item. And uh, you'd be able to have it available for your, your scene to do your, your renders. Now, one thing I want to mention about the Daz store, and this, this holds true for the characters as well as the 
um, environments, anything you purchase, is it's okay to use the item in a in a video or a cinematic or a cutscene. But if you're going to use any of the Daz characters or any of the Daz um, items, such as this Dirty Kitchen, for example, if you notice here, they have an optional license add-on. Need to you would need to purchase the interactive license if you're going to use this as part of your game in your game engine because this is a, a different license uh, to use. Now these used to be a lot more expensive and they've dropped the price uh, very recently to where it's extremely affordable. So if you wanted to use this this prop, for example, this um, this dirty kitchen prop, you would just pay an additional $35 plus the $13.97, it's on sale. Normally it's $19.95 and you would have that, that entire room and everything in it available to use in your in your game engine if you were creating a game uh, the same thing goes for the characters again important to know that you can use all these characters once you purchase them um, if you're creating uh, a movie scene or a cinematic or a cutscene. but if you wanted to use the actual character such as that the uh, alien in your game as a character in the game you would have to pay the interactive license which is usually about 35 to 50 bucks and that's it for this module